Okay, so one of the biggest challenges when you start oil painting, especially when you're doing wet on wet, is um, the problem of having colors mixed together and get muddy and your painting just sort of going off the rails and turning into a disaster. Uh, we've all been there. So I'm gonna do a little wet on wet demo today. I'm gonna do it in high speed, I'm gonna talk you through it. But basically the idea is you wanna go um, put thick paint over thin paint. So those first layers should be thin and then you can come over with thicker paint. So let's just get right into it. All right, so as usual, I am just sketching in burnt sienna and I'm squinting at the image and mapping out the dark areas. Um, I'm trying to just get an interesting pattern here. And then I'm suggesting some tree trunks as well, just so I know where those are gonna be. Uh, it gives me a kind of an idea of what the overall composition is gonna look like. And then I can come in uh, as I am here with my darks first, which is um, ultramarine and uh, alizarin crimson. And this mixture has been thinned with mineral spirits. And as you can see, I'm kind of scrubbing it into the panel. I want a thin layer of paint because I'm gonna come over it later with thicker paint. So if this layer is too thick, I will not be able to come over it. Um, so here I am also suggesting some trunks just sort of the dark um, portions of the trunks. And now I'm coming in with a bit more color into those dark areas. Uh, I'm getting a little reflection there, so it's showing up as lighter than it really is. Um, but what I'm trying to do is um, reinforce the darks and add a little bit of variety into those shadow colors. So I'm adding like pretty much looks like straight ultramarine there, maybe with a touch of white in it. And like I said, just reinforcing the darks and um, also lightening the darks that are, you know, for the trees that are in the distance, like right there, kind of trying to lighten those up so that I'll push them back. Okay, so now I'm coming in with the sky color. And this paint has been thinned a, just a touch with mineral spirits to make it workable, but it is not a scrub in like the, the dark in the trees were. This is, you know, I want to thin it to get good coverage and I want a little bit of the panel to show through, like the light, you know, the white of the panel to show through. It gives you kind of some illumination in the, uh, in the sky. And then I am going to come in and touch up the sky holes. I've already done one there. You want your trees to have like, you know, to be able to see the sky, uh, like right there. See, those are, you know, putting in little touches of sky behind the trees. You want your trees not to be solid masses because it just does not look real. Next here, what I'm doing is, this is kind of challenging. I'm, I'm going to paint the water and obviously I've got all these tree trunks and I'm trying to get a straight line um, with the water, but I'm not really worried about it. I don't, I, I'm not worried that it's, it's, going to look sloppy or anything. That's part of how I like to paint. So I just do the best I can. Now I'm coming in with the sky on the horizon and trying to preserve some of the trunks. Although if I lose them, it's not a problem because I'm going to come back in later, um, you know, and reinforce those. And I like there to be a bit of messiness going on. So I don't, I, I don't like it to be too perfect or too careful, as you guys probably know. All right, so here I am coming in again with about the same consistency as this guy, just like, you know, it's pretty much paint out of the tube, just slightly, slightly loosened up. All right, now, same thing with this paint right here, just a touch of mineral spirits to make it workable, but it's still, I'm preserving the thickness. And as you can see, I'm going right over that dark paint and it's not blending that much. There might be a little blending going on, but it's not too bad. If that dark blue I had laid in earlier was uh, thick, there's no way I could come over and cover, you know, get those little pops of green. So now I'm coming in and putting some highlights on the trunks. And I just mixed up kind of some sort of warm gray mixture. And um, yeah, putting the light areas of the trunks in. And I'm again, I'm not worried about duplicating what I'm seeing exactly. I'm just trying to create a random assortment of um, trunks and then I can fine-tune them later but yeah I really want to get that main tree in because that's kind of the center of interest 
And again, look, I'm able to go over that dark blue paint with light paint and it's staying clean. I'm not getting any kind of mixture going on at all. And that's because that first layer of dark was very thin, just kind of scrubbed in. And, uh, and then it's no problem to come over with thicker paint on top of that. Now I'm coming in with some more, um, like some green highlights. Same thing, loading up the brush with paint and maybe a touch of mineral spirits to thin it, but barely any. I want to keep that paint thick. Uh, now for some of the smaller tree trunks in the background, I'm using a liner brush. This is a number four synthetic, inexpensive brush, nothing fancy, and just kind of suggesting more pops of color or light um, on the trunks. And uh, yeah, trying to, you know, again, trying to keep it very loose and not be fussy at all. <laughs> It's, I mean, as much as possible anyway. Uh, and then also trying not to break up that dark pattern too much. You know, I want to maintain those dark shapes. So, yeah, this little brush. Now I'm using a little bit of medium um, with the little brush. And I'll talk about that. It's a mixture of stand oil and linseed oil and mineral spirits. Um, here I've come in and just kind of added some white paint to the sky to just lighten it up a bit. And I'm intentionally mixing the white with the sky color that's already on the panel. So I'm mixing on the panel a bit. All right, so as usual, I will do a few touch-ups on this painting, kind of live with it for a little bit. After it's dry, I can come in, punch up the lights, do whatever I need to do compositionally. Uh, but just wanted to give you this quick wet-on-wet -wet demo. Uh, if you've got questions, put them in the comments below. But as usual, thanks for hanging out, guys. Stay safe, healthy, and creative, and I'll see you in the next video.